LeBron James came out very vocally, um, Cube, and said he did not want to play in the All-Star game and that he had no excitement for it, no energy for it. He was told that there wasn't going to be an All-Star game. Now he's got to play one. But what's curious to me is apparently what I've heard is Chris Paul was pushing for this. And they're supposed to be boys, right? Like, how could LeBron, could Chris Paul be pushing for something and LeBron not even be aware of it? I find that hard to believe. And, and, and if it is the case, then is there some kind of schism in the players' union where guys like De'Aaron Fox, who are young and, and aren't going to play in the postseason, and guys like LeBron, who are old and will be playing deep into the postseason, neither one of those guys want to do it, but Chris Paul wants it? Q, what's your read of this situation? Well, I mean, I, I don't take it as deep as that. You know, Chris Paul got a job to do. LeBron got a job to do. They're not on the same team in the middle of a season, so I'm pretty sure they're not, you know, communicating like uh, people would think. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's about the league. And, and LeBron may feel that way today. But as it get closer, you know, these all-star games are, you know, very prestigious you know, you don't want to miss one just because you didn't feel like playing, especially at the end of your career. You don't know how many more all-star games is coming. So I just think that's how he felt when they asked him the question. Um, but as it get closer, I'm pretty sure he's going to go get the fans what they, what they love him for. You know, you know? so I don't, I, don't, I don't take it as a big, you know, controversy. Ice Cube uh, on the Max Kellerman Show, ESPN Radio. Um, Q, meantime, LeBron, like, you know, Brady's doing this amazing thing with longevity. 43 years old in, the ten, in his 10th Super Bowl, and you can't just say, well, it's Belichick anymore, brand new team. LeBron, mm -hmm. on, LeBron is doing something crazy with longevity because Kareem was great as an older player, but by, and he also played in college, so it's a little different. He was the best college player ever, but by the time Kareem had played as many minutes in the NBA as LeBron, he was no longer the best player in the world. He wasn't an MVP caliber player anymore. He was an all-star caliber player. But what LeBron's doing, Cube, at his age, the number of seasons he's been in the league, still considered the best player in the world and likely to win the title again this year. I, you know, is there – when you rate the greatest players you've ever seen, where is LeBron on that list? Oh, man, you know, he's up there with the top. You know what I'm saying? It's like – but you got to look at how, to, you know, LeBron traveled through all his career. Pretty sure he was on private planes. And how Kareem and them had to travel. Yeah, yeah. You know, at the start of their career. I'm pretty sure, you know, it's different going through LAX – you know, when you got to go through the regular old uh, way the public go through than just, you know, hopping out your car and jumping in a private plane. So the wear and tear, the equipment, the the training, everything is so advanced now. You know, it's, it's all about making sure an athlete can play into their, you know, late 30s now, we're seeing into their, you know, mid-40s. Uh, Spoken no, as spoken player. like someone who's pl been on a lot of private planes, <laughs> and it, but it's true, and also <laughs> someone who's organized basketball leagues. Damn, Cube, where's my well, private my plane? You guys must Raouf be out of your minds. What's that? Mahmoud Abdul Raouf, mm -hmm. you know, is is in my league, and he's you know playing into his. I mean, he's fifty, and he's still you know busting ass. Does he have to stand there, for the so. anthem, or is that not a rule in your league? There is no anthem in my league. There you, you go. Know, we hey, just Q, go and play. Let, let me, let me, but, you know, remember, not, Raouf, you know, like, there was a whole controversy about that. Not all that. Well, I guess it was a long time ago. I'm older than I, than I realize sometimes. Who's going to win the Super Bowl, Q? Um, you know, I'm, I'm hoping, uh, you know, Tom Terrific win it. You know, I'm a Raider fan, so I ain't going for them, them chefs. I mean, Chiefs, whatever you call them. <laughs> you know what I mean? They broke my heart and won the Super Bowl last year, so I damn sure don't want to see them go back-to-back. -back. So I'm going for time terrific in the Bucks. But in the meantime, the Chiefs, listen, your Raiders actually played them really well. The only game they've lost, because they lost to the Chargers, but, you know, Mahomes didn't play. They were resting up at that point. The only team they lost to this whole year, the only team Mahomes has lost to in, like, what is it, tw 26 or 7 games now are your Raiders. What do you think about 
about the challenge the Chiefs are going to pre- you know present to your ra- beloved Raiders, and what do you think the outlook is for your Raiders? Well, I think you know when you when you have a divisional opponent, you can throw the records out the window. You know, it's a it's a different kind of hate when you're playing somebody in your division. So, you know, the Raiders. I think you know when it comes to that, anybody can be beat. The Raiders, you know, they keep talking quarterback, quarterback. We need defense. Defense. Nothing's wrong with the Raiders quarterback. We need to put some money in the defensive side of the ball and stop people. And and we'll score enough points to win more games. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.